Hello, this is Noreen Crown Finlay from TottyTalksCrafts.com. Uh, that's my blog, and you can also find me mostly on Facebook at uh, Noreen Crown Finlay Designs. Now, I um, I have a new thing that I'm very excited about. These are not new things. These I'm just going to show you what the new thing is. It's over here. It's carving wooden spoons. Now. I have had a passion for carving and woodworking in general for all my adult life. And I'm just going to show you a few of the things that I've done over the years. These are, let's see, what's my camera set here? Okay, so these are puppets that I carved back in the days when I was a professional puppeteer. So these I carved from wood. And his little shoes are wooden, and she's all wooden. And I also love carving jewelry and buttons and tatting shuttles and weaving shuttles. And, of course, dolls. I love wooden dolls. Um, this is the tiniest one here. Whoops, she was lying on her face. Whoops. This is the tiniest wooden articulated doll that I've ever carved. Um, her arms and legs are jointed, so she does sit. And she's probably less than an inch tall. She's very little. And there's a couple of mermaids. Now this is Maple. Maple is a bunny that I carved this summer um, past, uh, the summer of 2020. We were given a whole bunch of um, uh, gigantic maple wood logs and my husband was cutting them into firewood, <coughs> pardon me, and I just felt like one particular piece of the uh, firewood, the maple, had a bunny in it, a rabbit. So I carved maple, there's her head. And I carved this body for her. And she was indignant. That wasn't the body she wanted. She wanted a twig body. Thank you very much. So I found a twig in the firewood um, that actually had a bunny tail on it. And so Maple is now happy with me that she has, she has the body that she wanted. And this doll um, then took on her body, uh, the original Okay, whatever. Uh, and had a head. Now, I'd made this head years ago, and was she was waiting for a body, so perfect. And this dress I tatted years ago. Here are some more um, little dolls that I carved over the summer of 2020. And I kept meaning to um, uh, make a video and show them to you, but I kind of didn't get around to it. What with one thing and another... This one is Fleur, and she is a celebration of all the gorgeous flowers that we had over the summer. I call this series of dolls the head in their clouds, and because their hair looks like clouds. And here is a one of the another one of the head in the clouds dolls, and she's got a magical gateway, and the ocean is there. Because I was longing for the ocean, but we didn't, because we couldn't travel. There's a whale's tail, mermaid's tail, perhaps. And here's the first in the series of the head in the cloud stall. Her cloud is quite small, but she has a fairy door, so she can go on wonderful journeys. Now, over the years, I've carved lots of crochet hooks that are different sizes from smallish up to very large. Now this is the homage to Dame Julian of Norwich. And it says, and all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. So that's the Dame Julian of Norwich crochet hook. Here's another fairy door crochet hook. 
Now this one I carved, um, our son was given some uh, pieces of dead pianos and he asked me if I wanted some and so I carved this hook from it and I found it so interesting that the wood, which is like 100 years old, um, is green. So I thought that was interesting. Here's an owl. I'm trying to get this in focus. Not really succeeding. Okay, anyhow. Here's the owl. There we go. All right. And again, a large crochet hook. And here is a green man Nosta pin, which is for winding yarn on. And bracelets. I've carved myself lots of bracelets over the years. And of course, buttons. I love making buttons. So that is, and of course, articulated dolls, many a mermaid. Now, so that is just kind of an introduction to the kind of carving that I've done over the years. And I was so surprised. I, I fell madly in love. My husband gave me a, a wonderful kit for, um, well, it was supposed to be for Christmas, but I wheedled it out of him for solstice. And uh, so I have been... Um, madly carving spoons for the last couple of days and um, this one is for uh, it's a, a bird's eye maple or birch really hard oh that was hardwood um, and so um, heart motifs are a big thing for me and they show up everywhere and so you know they happen with with on the spoons too. So I'm going to clear all this off and I'm going to show you some uh, spoon blanks that I've made and that I'm working on. So I will just stop and put away all of these treasures and show you some spoon blanks. So um, the very first spoon that I carved is very small. It's uh, four inches long and um, it's going to my grandson our grandson and um, it is from a piece of birch or maple I'm not sure really hard that was down in the woodworking room so I used um, I checked in with the family and said well anybody else want a spoon and there was a chorus of oh yeah so I used a piece of mystery wood this you can see it's got tape and stuff on the back of it. It was from a um, an upcycled piece of wood that I got at the reuse center that had been a plaque of some sort and uh, when I saw it in the uh, wood scrap pile I went whoa! And so I've cut these four blanks and you can see I have drawn um, the that this is where I will use. I'm going to show you some of the tools that I use. Now the um, my husband bought me a kit that had a nifty book and these two tools. Um, I think it's called a, I'm not sure how you say it, sloy knife and this one is a hook knife. And the hook knife I found, um, I, I like to use a, um, a, a scooped chisel for getting most of the, um, of the, uh, the wood out of the bowl and then kind of work with um, uh, a, a rounded chisel and then I found that this works really nicely. Um, I was baffled how to use this but I found that it works really nicely um, to kind of clean up the the cuts and um, so that's I'm gonna have to watch some videos on YouTube and see how they use them. Now these are also tools that I love for carving. They're raspy uh, jibber jobbers that my husband bought for me. Thanks honey. Uh, one year for Christmas and they are wonderful for shaping. Like I was actually uh, just before I started filming I was using this one and I was uh, sanding with uh, this bent raspy file and it works really nice uh, really nicely in um, curved spaces like this. So the way I work is first of all to draw the blanks out like I've done here 
um, this one looked like this when I first started and then I draw I, I take um, and I use the straight knife to to cut a line in along the uh, this outline that I drew and that'll be my that's my stop cut and then I use some of my fine uh, wood uh, cutting tools. This is a veiner and then I use the veiner to carefully cut um, a, a, a V groove that then allows the wood to to have the grain broken so that um, sorry um, that the um, that it'll stop the flow of the cutting and you do have to be careful when you're cutting because you don't Ever, don't ever 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 have your um, thumb in the line of the knife or your chisel don't don't work with it on your leg I like to work standing up so I can really push down um, I have a confession to make when I was young and foolish I almost killed myself carving um, I was carving a marionette head a wooden marionette head and I went to carve the something on a uh, detail on the face and the knife skidded and it shot into my leg and nicked an artery but my husband got me to the hospital on time and they stitched me up and they said don't ever do that again and so I haven't so please you know don't don't work in your lap don't work with your hands here or here when you're working this way because you'll 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 be sorry um Okay, so lots of other tools that I work with. And so uh, what I'll do is I'll just keep nipping at that. What you do is, oh, 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 uh, I know, I backed up. What I was going to say is what you do uh, do is you just keep nipping gently away. Um, and don't go trying to take huge hunks out all at once. It's better to take little bits so you're in control and so it's a more of a very it's a very kind of a gentle uh, process it, it's hard work but be gentle with it I do want to say that um, some people do they they draw on their blank I mean they even make their wooden blanks with the axe or the hatchet which that just scares the daylights out of me I yeah no I do not have axe or hatchet skills um, so I'm never going to be doing that but the 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 scroll saw yeah you know simple little saw that you can cut out with and uh, and it's a thing of beauty and a joy forever okay so I, I'll just keep uh, keep playing and then um, when I have more to show you, I'll come back with more to show you. Look at that. All those shavings from this one little piece of wood. So the this uh, spoon with the heart handle, I guess it's more of a scoop than a spoon, is coming along quite nicely. And um, I've just been working with these two knives mostly. Uh, yeah, no, actually, just those two. Um, but now I'm going to do some more, uh, just some more working on it. And I'm going to get raspy soon for getting it polished. And then I'll give it a, I think I'll, I'll take it to the, um, we have a drill press that we have a round sort of, uh, sanding wheel. And I think I'll, I'll do some sanding with that to polish it up. So this is one family sp set of spoons that I've carved from the, um, the blanks that I showed earlier. And so this is a kind of a, I guess it's sort of like a, a scoop more than a spoon. But anyhow, made with love. And this one uh, was uh, supposed to be very plain, very simple. And yet at the end of it, I started to see, I wonder if I can get this to come into focus focus for me okay it's not focusing focus ah. trying up down ah 
there you can see a little bit it's just not showing at all. Oh, it helps if I turn it properly too. So this one started to look like a I'll move these in the way. Like a dog. And so I thought, oh ho, this spoon then has it's like the spirit of dog on the end. It's very comfortable. I, I for me it's very important that they feel ergonomically lovely. So, that's this set of spoons. I am definitely addicted to spoon carving now. I am just loving carving the spoons. What fun. My son gave me um, a bag full of birch uh, blanks that he had cut from a, a piece of a, a birch tree that got cut down from their neighbor's yard and he saved uh, the, the wood from the tree for carving and then he made me a bunch of blanks. And so this dolly spoon I uh, came from one of the blanks that my son made for me when I uh, was carving away on the previous spoons that were Christmas presents. I uh, thought, oh yes, I absolutely have to combine my my love of carving wooden dolls with making uh, the carved spoons. And what came up for me is that um, some spoons are meant for stirring up something yummy to eat and uh, possibly a lovely pot of soup. But these dolly spoons are they are more about stirring up a story. So they're kind of storyteller spoons. Here's another dolly spoon. Now this one I carved from the blank that um, uh, came with the spoon carving kit that my husband bought me for a solstice present. Uh, just, oh I guess, well it's, I don't know, 10 days or so ago. And I have been just having so much fun carving, 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 non-stop. Now, I, um, I love the basswood uh, that this uh, spoon was, uh, the blank uh, was, um, uh, was carved from, I mean, cut from. And uh, it's interesting because I have kind of, um, I have, well, I haven't kind of, I have definitely, um, kind of imprinted on about the six inch size and so the um, the the and, and also wider and so uh, using the uh, pre-made blank was I felt challenging because it was like trying to fit my ideas into someone else's concept but still, I had a lot of fun. Like she, um, I've been very caught up in the whole thing about stardust and stars and how that connects with, um, with uh, trees. And so stars are showing up a whole lot. Uh, for instance, the star baby I carved. Now you can, can you see? There, there's the star on the star baby's head. So this is a star baby scoop. Um, I carved the, uh, the star into the bowl of the scoop and I won't do that again. That was just a nightmare. So that was not as much fun as it might be. But I do love the uh, star baby scoops. And this one's from Mahogany and um, it's, uh, it fits so nicely in your hand. So there's a whole lot of stardust stuff going on with the spoon carving. And the previous spoons that I showed, um, I had car I'll move these guys out of the way so this shows up a bit better. I had carved um, hearts uh, on the ends of the spoons that I carved for my family. And then I thought, as I was um, up all night Christmas Eve, drawing, 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 drawing all the, the new spoons, I came up with this um, thought about 
a spoon that has a scoop on one end and a, um, a scoop uh, in the, or you know, a spoon bowl carved in the palm of a hand. And as I was carving it, it struck me that spoons are meant for gathering, but they're also meant for offering. And so a heart and hands uh, spoon and scoop is something that I think I'm going to be pursuing a lot. So I truly, uh, I feel like there's a missing piece of my life has come into play in the carving of the spoons and scoops. And I, um, <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going with them, but I do know there are, I have dozens of drawings that I've made of, um, of uh, the, the ongoing series. Now, one thing that I have uh, found is that now, like uh, at the beginning with the, the first spoons that I carved, um, I should run and grab um, the, the one I made. Uh, I made one, a tiny one for my husband, um, just like the one I made for uh, my grandson at the beginning of this video. And with those, I was tracing other spoons and then kind of extrapolating from them. But now what I've, I'm doing now is I'm just drawing to uh, whatever I want. I, I either draw to just, I draw to fit the blank, or I do a drawing uh, in my sketchbook. And then I, like with the um, uh, Star Baby Scoop and the Hearts and Hands, um, uh, receiving an offering um, scoop and spoon, um, I just draw and then I transfer that onto the wood. So um, I'm, I'm not at all interested in working with templates. And um, I've, I've certainly developed what uh, feels like I now have a connection to my own um, uh, pattern language with this and so I am so excited and I'm going to keep on going. So that's the my first um, the, my first couple of weeks into the adventure of carving spoons and scoops and so uh, I'll probably be posting lots more of them. So talk to you soon and I hope that whatever um, joyous thing you've discovered in your life is going to continue to give you just great happiness. So talk to you soon. And um, the dollies are doing a little dance for you. Cheerio. Be kind. Be well. Be safe. Blessings. <laughs>